Hi there, it's Jimbo Richards, Executive Director of the East Windsor Chamber of Commerce, and I'm going to tell you, I've got so much to talk about today, you're going to be bored listening to me, but try to hang in there. There's a lot of exciting things going on in East Windsor, and I really want you to take advantage of it. Uh, the first thing I want to remind you about, let's see here, is, is May is going to be Child's Miracle Network Hospital Month at uh, Costco. And so I'm asking that you businesses out there, they've got some advertising up there, you can advertise your business, so on and so forth. Drop me an email, I'll tell you how to get a hold of them. Community Day email has come on board. That's ewcommunityday at gmail.com. Email there for vendor slips, sponsorship slips. Uh, if your community group wants to get in, now's the time to email because we're starting to formulate everything, and we certainly want you to take advantage of that. Going on now to the 18th of the month, there's a book bag sale at Warehouse Point Library. Uh, and they're open Monday through Wednesday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And Thursday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. This week coming up, so take advantage of that. Now we're filming on Sunday, and talking about the week coming up, we do have our Board of Director business meeting. But I hear the Nor'easter's gonna blow in. So on Tuesday, March 14th, be sure to uh, look at the weather. If the school system's canceled, we're definitely not meeting. Uh, we may pull the plug even tomorrow on Monday, but I'm scared that you might not know, so I'm trying to let you know today. But if we do have good weather on Tuesday, and the weatherman's wrong, uh, it is the monthly business and board of directors meeting. And we're going to be at the Main Fish uh, Restaurant, uh, down there on Bridge Street, 68 Bridge Street, 1230, order off the menu. It will be a great lunch, so I hope we can make it there. Uh, on March 15th, the day after the Nor'easter, so you won't have to run out then, but the uh, Allied's Attic Community Thrift Store, a community thrift store is one that sells clothing at a lower rate to folks that are less fortunate than others, and they love to get donations, which are uh, tax deductible. You can get a slip from them. And they're going to be collecting those donations on the 15th from 11 to 1.30 at the Enfield Senior Center, 299 Elm Street, Enfield. On March 16th, it's a legislative senior update. Now, this is for all you seniors out there. Our state reps, Carol Hall and Christopher Davis, are going to be at the East Windsor Senior Center from 12.30 to 2 o'clock. Be sure to go by. You're going to find out what's going on on a legislative level uh, you know, in regards to you seniors. I'm almost there. I got a discount the other day at Geisler's. I got my 10% and I did, you know what? I wasn't old enough, but I didn't say anything. Anyway, moving on. Uh, March 18th, the East Windsor Police Department is pre presenting Shamrocks for Special Olympics. It's a corned beef and cabbage dinner from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Warehouse Point Fire Department House, 89 Bridge Street. Adults 10, Children under 12, $5. Uh, tickets are available from Sergeant McNeese at 860-292-8240, extension 1217. The next exciting thing I've got coming up is, uh, let's see here, I messed up my pages, how's that? Uh, let's see, oh. On March 25th, the softer side of Celtic with Jeff Snow at the uh, Warehouse Point Library. You want to sure to be go to that. Sign up uh, by stopping in at the library or call 860-623-5482. Now I'm on to my exciting thing for uh, March 25th to the 26th. My, one of my favorite things is when cha area chambers, chambers, my next door neighbors, we all work together. And this is going to be a great opportunity. The East Windsor Chamber of Commerce members and the Chamber have been invited to participate in the North Central Chamber of Commerce's uh, Home and Product Show being held at the old Walmart location, 69 Prospect Hill Road. So be sure to stop by. Uh, it's going to be fun, uh, exciting. Uh, there's a family fun zone with Lego, vendors, celebrities, back Bob Backlund. Any of you wrestling fans out there, I know who Bob Backlund is. I met him jogging one day in East Hartford. He's a local boy. Became famous in the WWE. He's going to back there. 
It's going to be lots of fun, lots of businesses. Uh, the Five Corner Cupboard's going to be there. So I urge you to come down to the Home and Product Show. And that's on the 25th, the 26th. And we are participating. Uh, March 28th, our state legislators, uh, that would be State Reps Davis, Hall, Zatowski, Storms, and Stokes, are having a North Central Connecticut Tourism Brochure Swap Day. But it's not just for tourist spots. Businesses are invited to participate as well. And that's going to happen at the New England Air Museum from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Refreshments and conversation, of course. Bring your brochures, pamphlets, business cards, etc. And again, that's presented by our state reps to help you do business better. March 29th, I know, it's just so much, I can barely keep up. Uh, the Chamber, East Windsor Chamber of Commerce, is having its Spring 2017 After Hours event. Now, that's open to any business or professional. Admission, one business card. And it's hosted by OxyFresh of Connecticut and Windsor Federal Savings. Uh, it's going to be held at the Windsor Federal Savings location, 1 Showham Road, from 5.30 to 7.00. Uh, giveaways, door raffles, carpet cleaning demo, uh, complimentary refreshments. It's going to be a really good time. I would ask, though, that you RSVP to me at jim, J-I-M, at eastwindsorchamber.com. That's jim at eastwindsorchamber.com if you're a business that wants to attend. And you don't, while we invite all our Tobacco Valley Chamber Alliance buddies in our North Central and our South Windsor, we really like it if some of the local East Windsor businesses that haven't been to a chamber event take advantage of this. And we have businesses that are huge and small, so you can, you can be part of it. On March 31st, the chamber in its continuing effort to always promote our uh, two town committee parties. And uh, while we don't promote their politics, we do promote their community fun events. Uh, the Republicans in the past have collected firewood and sold it to, to benefit the, the uh, human services, etc. And the Democratic Town Committee is having a pasta and trivia night. Now, unfortunately, I haven't made one, but I hear there's a lot of smart people and a lot of people that aren't so smart at trivia night. So it's a good time for everyone. Uh, it's only uh, $10 for the dinner. $15 for dinner and trivia, which participate, and children under 12 are free. So that's a great deal for you families. It's going to be held at Scout Hall with dinner from 5 to 7, trivia 7 to 9. And if you want to order tickets, know more about it, please contact Jean at 860-716-0309. And again, that's hosted by our East Windsor Town Democratic Committee. Uh, April 1st, we've got the Safe, Grade, Safe Grad Spring Tag Sale. They have this every year. Uh, I've bought a few items there over the years. It's really awesome. And that's happening from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And the people that benefit are the seniors. They're graduating, and we want them to have a safe environment after graduation, but have a really good time. And this is the way that they fund that. Also on April 1st, uh, our Agricultural Commission in town, the East Windsor Agricultural Commission, is having its third annual Farmer's Coffee. And I asked uh, Kirk Monstrine, who had contacted me about this, um, is the general public invited to it? He thinks it would be great if the general public, along with the farmers that are local in town, were to stop by at the Melrose Historical District Schoolhouse and uh, from 9 to 11 and just talk about farming and talk about you know, we've had a lot of talk about construction and growth of the town. And if you look at the zoning of the town, the town is set up perfectly so that we can have a great commercial district, uh, provide our money for our grand list and the money we need to, to operate our town. But we also can keep our rural environment. Uh, and, and farmers need to get together more than ever. Um, some of our biggest farms are starting to close down. Uh, it is a concern. And the town is set up so that we can keep some open space, that we can have our passive recreation along the Scanic River, and that our farmers can keep on farming uh, just like Reikley Farms. Uh, on April 8th, uh, uh, oh, excuse me, and that's from 9 to 11. Then on April 2nd is the 34th Annual Farmer's Breakfast presented by the East Windsor Alliance Club. 
and it's always awesome. Uh, the feast will include scrambled eggs, pancakes, sausage, hash browns, apple pie, and our local favorite, D. Stather, makes the best homemade biscuits this side of the Mississippi. So I encourage everyone to go to the breakfast there. It's from 8 a.m. to 11.30 at the East Windsor High School. Uh, and the cost is only $8 per person and $4 for 12 and under. It's really a good meal. And it does benefit the East Windsor Lions Club local, national, and international charities and their operations. On April 8th, the next week, uh, Breakfast with the Easter Bunny, presented by East Windsor Park and Rex and the East Windsor Rotary Club. Uh, this will benefit local charities, scholarships, and more. The menu will include pancakes, sausage, fruit juice, milk, and coffee, a special visit from the Easter Bunny, and tickets are six per person and three per child. And I got a bunch of other stuff coming up, but you know what? I've been talking to too long. My cameraman says it's time for coffee and breakfast. So the last thing I want to say, East Windsor, where the sun rises on business and community.